Recently, I've been thinking about how we can control our desires and something that started this entire thought is because I've been trying to live a healthier lifestyle by eating healthy and cooking for myself and also going to the gym and exercising more often. And so when I walk to and back from the gym every time I go, I see all these food places and all these cafes. And that's when I start to crave like a burger, this burrito, or this fancy ass matcha place. And when I thought about the fact that like, if I don't see these places on my way, will I still have this intrinsic craving for these foods and drinks? And the answer is no. Which is why the conclusion that I drew from this whole thing is that we can engineer our environment to cater towards the habits and um, what we want to build more of. For example, if you want to just grind harder, if you want to lock in more, or, or if you're like me trying to exercise more, or if you're trying to sleep earlier, then you want the people around you and the physical environment around you to cater towards that need. So if other people around you are doing the same thing and if your environment directs you towards all these healthier foods this um healthier way of living then you're naturally more inclined to do those things the benefits from this is that it would require less of your discipline to do these things and instead it's just more of your natural tendency. We only have so much energy and control over what we do to the point where we don't want every single task in our everyday life to be something that requires our conscious discipline to guide us towards, but instead have this like subconscious environment to support us in working in that direction. And that's what I found the most helpful for my journey. And I think realizing the fact that my environment is everything also makes me more conscious of what I'm surrounding myself with, the people who I'm interacting with, the media that I'm consuming every day, because these all impact how I think and my default state of action and thinking. I think it's quite interesting because a lot of these things just go to our subconsciousness right away and we don't think about what's around us on a daily basis when that impacts everything that we do. So that's it for this video and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>